<laughs> All right, that's one way to do it. What's another way? Uh, what's a what? What else we have? Um, cover the sunlight. Cover the window so the sunlight doesn't travel to your room. You can get some heavy curtains. What's what's one time when it comes to the orbit of the sun and the Earth where the sun is actually blocked out by a particular thing? Oh. Oh, oh what's up? Solar eclipse. Yeah, dude, you get a solar eclipse. Is that a cool thing? It's fiery. No, yeah. I never saw it before. Okay, so if you get a solar. I I don't, I don't watch okay, that. so that's one of the few times where the sun is actually blocked out. Now, is the sun blocked out long enough to like shut the earth down? No, no. 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 Now, let me ask you a question. How long do you think it would take? Let's say the, the sun went out, one the bulb went out. 8,000 hours. How long do you think it would take before the earth really felt the effects? A few weeks. A few weeks? Months, if the sun, years, if the sun the stops, like right now, the sun is in the sky. Oh, it's yeah. keeping the Earth at a certain temperature, right? Yeah. So if the sun completely shut off, you don't think that it would, uh, we would freeze like, like that? Yeah, freeze like that. Yeah. The come to our... Exactly. What would be affected? Food, water, Plant. plants, Plant. housing, Plant. shelter, everything. We need the sun. Is there a possibility that the sun is going to go out? Yes, in a million, million years. Are you going to be around to see it? No. Okay, there you go. So now, looking at it like that, now we want to look at how other planets react to the sunlight too. So we live in a what? Planet. So let's say this is the sun. Earth. What's the next planet? Mercury. Mercury? Oh, Mercury. Mercury, yeah. Okay, it's so the next Mercury. Mercury. All right, so here's, here's the sun. Here's Mercury. What's the next planet? Venus. Okay. Got the V. What's the next planet? Earth. Earth. What's the next planet? Mars. Yeah, it was trying to get there. We can't get there yet. He has Mars. We'll put M A. Oh, what's the next planet? Uh, uh, Jupiter. What? Stupider. That's Jupiter. <laughs> Is it Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune? Which one? Jupiter. 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 She says Jupiter. What's the next one? Saturn. 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 Yes. Can you actually walk on Saturn's rings? No. no. What are Saturn's rings made up of? Gases, gases, rocks, and helium. Very good, very good. So yeah, so Jupiter, Saturn. What's the next one? No, I'm not uh, Uranus. 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 Alright, so let's look at this one second. We got the Sun. We've got Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Neptune. Where's Neptune? Right after, after Uranus. Right after Uranus? Yeah. Okay, make a little curve. Okay, Neptune. No, I just What's the next one? Pluto. Yeah. Is Pluto still considered? No. 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 It's still there. It's still there, but let me ask you a question. Is Pluto hot or cold? Cold. Oh, super cold. Don't want to live there. Let's forget about Pluto. It doesn't exist anymore. It's just a planet of ice. Now, <clears throat> here's the sun, right? <laughs> All these planets, <laughs> they do what to the Earth? Uh, turn around the orbit. What is the thing that's really affected by these planets? The Earth, the, excuse me, the sun acts as a what? Internal heat. It pulls what the planets what? Gravity. Yeah, right. So what happens is the sun is the center, right? So it pulls the planets around, right? Uh, right? And then this goes around. And this goes around. Oh. How come that the planets don't bump into each other? Uh, a lot of gravity rings. Gravity rings or what else? What's this called when it makes one full... An orbit, right? So how come while they're orbiting the sun, they don't crash into each other? I have a question. No yeah, idea. Sure. Um, in a million years, what if the if the sun will like go off and go exploding? What if all the planets just fall down? No. Well, that, that's really good question. See, what happens is, what's keeping all these planets in alignment? It's wow. the sun, right? This is the center of the gravitational force. So no. if there's no sun, if you take the sun out of the equation, what's going to happen? They're going to all go what? Bye bye. All right, yeah. So the idea is now, here's a really cool thing. I know Big it's a little bang. off topic, but I gotta bring it up, okay? Big bang. Big bang. This year is what? 20 what? 2012. 2012, right? Now, according to who? Mayans. The Mayans. He died this year. What's gonna happen on 12, 21, 12? He died. Let's be over here. The world ends. Supposedly, the world is supposed to end, but basically, based on the Mayan calendar, this is the last day on the calendar. Now look about that, that's December 21st. That's four days before Christmas, four days before the presents get opened up, okay? So that's pretty bad, right? So now, 12, 21, 12, now check it out. What I'm showing you here on the picture is exactly what they say is gonna happen. 
What they say is going to happen is that all the planets are going to line up just like this. And what's going to happen is because all the planets line up, the gravitational force of all the planets being aligned is going to affect what? This planet right here. But also the other planets. So when that happens, the Earth is supposed to just go what? Okay. Is it true? Yeah. I don't know. We all know. But the Mayans. The Mayans